Hello, my little children. How are we doing today? I'm so excited. We're going to learn how to spell our numbers in words. Are we ready? But before then, I have a question. What is that thing that birds make on trees? The home of birds. Oh, that's right. It's a nest. Although ostriches don't make that kind of nest on trees because they're the biggest birds in the world, but they kind of dig a hole, you know, a little hole where they can sit in their big, very big eggs, okay? So, all I know is that all birds have to make some kind of nest. Some even borrow nests from other birds just to lay eggs, just to make babies. So I have to put this, most of these things, you know, they're kind of storylines that will help you. And some of them are moral instructions. Like if you don't wear slippers, you're of course you're going to injure yourself. Would you like that? Okay, we'll get to that in a moment. But right now, we want to do number one. Orange or oh, is for ostrich orange or. Oh. Is for ostrich orange arm. Oh. Is for ostrich the biggest bird in town. Ostrich made a nest. Ostrich made a nest. Ostrich made a nest. Is the biggest nest in town. In the nest, there's an egg in the nest. There's an egg in the nest. There's an egg is the biggest egg in town. Ostrich nest egg spells one. Now we go to number two. Number two is about a tiger. And this tiger was so thirsty. So he went to the water to drink, he went to the river to drink water. And guess what the tiger saw? A big blue whale. Wow. That's the largest animal in the world. And tigers are there to roar. And one wise animal in the water warned Mr. Tiger, be careful, this animal will swallow you in just one go. Guess what the animal is? It's the, it's the octopus. So tiger, whale, octopus, spells two. Let's go to three. There was a tree. There was a house. There was a rabbit, 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 rabbit. And he saw two elephants. Oh, you sing your number three. Yeah. Oh, you sing your number three, yes. Oh, you write your number three. That's what it's all about. But, but there was a tree. There was a house. There was a rabbit, 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 rabbit. And he saw two elephants. So let's take it again. Tree. House. Rabbit, elephant, elephant, tree, house, rabbit, elephant, elephant, tree, house, rabbit, elephant, elephant, that's how to spell my number three. Let's go to four. Number four, there was a hungry fish by the water. And so people came for picnics, and when they went there for picnic, they went along with an orange. And the fish thought, I'm going to eat you, Mr. Orange. And the orange was wise. He ran under the umbrella, but guess what happened? Just when he thought he was safe, a rabbit just came from nowhere and ate up the orange. So let's go. Fish. Orange, umbrella, rabbit, 
fish, orange, umbrella, and rabbit. Fish, orange, umbrella, and rabbit. That's how to spell my number four. Let's go to five. There was a naughty finger. You wouldn't listen to anybody. Tell the finger, don't touch blades, don't touch, don't touch scissors, don't touch broken things, don't touch things that will hurt your finger, don't touch fire. But it wouldn't listen. So guess what happened? The finger got injured and the finger had to get injection. Do you like injection? I hate it. It's painful. So finger got injection and because of that, the hand was hurting, so he couldn't play violin anymore. You know, you need your fingers, look at that girl. You need your fingers to grip the strings over there and then to move the violin stuff and to play. So she couldn't play the violin and couldn't even peel simple eggs. So you see, we need to be very careful so that we don't hurt ourselves, okay? So now let's take this song. Finger injection. Violin and egg, finger injection, violin and egg, finger injection, violin and egg. That's how to spell my number five. Now, we all need to wear slippers or some kind of footwear wherever we go so that we don't hurt ourselves. It's, it's quite painful to hurt yourself. You don't have to take it to the hospital or even use the first aid box on you. Okay? So, if you don't wear your slippers, definitely you're going to injure yourself and you're going to get an injection. And you start to cry. <laughs> I know you don't want to do that. Look at that girl crying seriously. So let's take the song. Let's go. Sleepers injection. Sleepers injection. Sleepers injection. That's how to spell my number six. All right. Now I'm going to be telling us the story of number seven. Are you ready? Okay. Now there was an egg in a nest in the bush. Snakes like to swallow the eggs of birds so that they would climb the trees and they would just gulp it up in one go. So, an elephant sighted the snake from afar and knew what the snake was planning to go eat the egg in the nest. So, the elephant decided, I'm not going to let you do this. And the elephant had a supporter, the violinist. He was going, go elephant, go elephant. So, let's go. Let's tell the story. So, as the snake, and it was aiming at that nest at the end. And of course, the elephant said, no way. They began to fight. The snake will spit, and the elephant too will use his trunk to spit back. So it was a it was a kind of big fight, and the violinist was going, "Go elephant, go, go, go elephant, go, go, go elephant." And of course, guess who won? The elephant did, and the baby elephant was excited. Go, mommy, go, mommy. So that was the elephant's day, you know. And of course, they saved the egg in the nest, and the egg became a baby bird. You see, elephant, you saved the day. Thank you, elephant. So we go, snake, elephant, violin, elephant, nest. Snake, elephant, violin, elephant, nest. Snake, elephant, Violin elephant nest. That's how to spell my number seven. 
You know, sometimes you see certain things that are so amazing. Egg was just watching one day. And he saw something really amazing. He saw an elephant forcing itself into the little door that leads into an igloo. I was like, what? You mean this thing can take the, the big elephant? Wow. So he was surprised. And you see, he's wandering over there. Really? And then, I said that wasn't enough. A girl also observed it. Because she came out of her house. And next to her house was the Christmas tree. Meaning that it was winter time. So the girl saw this amazing thing. Okay? So let's sing the song. So you could choose to use elephant. You could choose to use egg. I'll go with egg. Egg, igloo, girl, house. Girl, house, tree, egg, igloo, girl, house, tree, egg, igloo, girl, house, tree. That's how to spell my number eight. Let's go to number nine and get into the end, you know. Now, if you play with a sharp object like a nail, it will definitely injure you. It's meant only for adults or professionals, people that know how to use them, to use them. So please be careful not to play with nails. Because if you do, you, of course you get an injection or you get some treatment that might hurt you. But if you don't play with the same nail for anything sharp, guess what? You will be able to peel your egg by yourself because nothing will hurt your fingers. So let's go. Nail, injection, another nail, and egg. Nail, injection, Another nail and egg. Nail, injection. Another nail and egg. That's how to spell my number nine. So we go to number 10. This is my favorite. There's a tree in the bush. Can you see the mustard tree? All the flowers obey everyone. It's okay, it's a mistress tree. All the flowers are dancing around and all of the plants bow when it comes out. There's a tree in the bush. I put my turn. An elephant comes. I'm gonna put my egg. A nest in the bush. I put my nerve. Spells ten. Remember the story of number seven, the snake that wanted to eat the egg in the in the nest. Now that is the tree where the nest was, and the baby elephant is still happy, still rejoicing over the victory. Okay, that the snake did. Not even the tree is happy because trees like to create shade for humans and for animals. There's a tree in the bush. I put my tail, an elephant comes, I'm gonna put my egg, a nest in the bush, I put my nut, that spells ten. All right, so we have zero, 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 zero. All right. Zero means nothing. But we need to still learn to spell it. I don't know how many of us remember the story of number four. The fish that wanted to eat the orange and la da 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 da. And something happened. So Zebra heard about it. And Zebra decided to ask his friend, the elephant. Please, is it true that rabbit ate my orange? He said, yes, it happened in number four. 
rabbit ate my orange. So zebra told elephant, the rabbit ate my orange. 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 So I'm sure by now you can now write your numbers from zero to ten in words using this fun method. Mnemonics, are we, are we happy? Okay, I wish you the best as you write them down. Bye-bye. Okay, let's practice how to write these numbers in words. So let's start with you remember zebra toad elephant the rabbit ate my orange let's go to this one ostrich nest egg Spells one tiger will octopus spells two. Let's go to three. Three house rabbit elephant elephant good let's go to four tree house rabbit elephant elephant tree house rabbit elephant elephant that's how to spell my number three. So let's go to four. Fish, orange, umbrella, and rabbit. Fish, orange, umbrella, and rabbit. Fish, orange. Umbrella and rabbit, that's how to spell my number four. Let's go to five. Finger, injection, violin and egg. Finger, injection. Violin and egg, finger, injection, violin and egg. That's how to spell my number five. So let's look at number six. If you don't wear slippers, you will get injection. And you will cry. Great. So let's go. Sleepers injection. Sleepers injection. Sleepers injection. That's how. To spell my number six. So let's go to number seven. Snake, elephant, violin, elephant, nest. Snake, elephant, violin, elephant, nest. Snake, 
elephant, violin elephant nest. That's how to spell my number seven. Egg, igloo. Sorry about that. Egg, igloo, girl, house, free. Let's go. Egg, igloo, girl, house, tree. Egg, igloo, girl, house, tree. That's how to spell my number eight. Nail, injection, another nail, and egg. Nail, injection, another nail, and egg. Nail, injection, another nail, and egg. That's how to spell my number nine. There's a tree in the bush. I put my tail. An elephant comes. I'm gonna put my air. A nest in the bush. I put my nest. That spells ten. Yippee! We do that. I'm gonna get a big sticker. Whoa, awesome. I'm gonna get a beautiful sticker. Do you like this? Good. So make sure you do your work well. Bye, see you later. Let's just have a, an overview of the whole thing. Can you see everything now? From zero to 10. Bye-bye.